everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Granny Spike Stitch, which is another neat variation of the Granny uh, Square pattern that is worked with clusters of three double crochets, but you'll see that the double crochet in the center of each set is actually a spike stitch and worked over top of and in the row below. So uh, today I'm going to be working with uh, ZZ Twist Yarn by Lion Brand. I'm also going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, I will be working it in three colors but it's a great pattern that uh, you can do in a variety of colors or you can just stick to one color. Today I'll be working it with three so why don't you grab a hook and some yarn and crochet along with me as we learn how to crochet the granny spike stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. I also have a complete, uh, well not complete, a work in progress playlist uh, here on my channel if you'd like to check out some other tutorials on granny squares and other variations of the granny stitch uh, you will find them uh, there in that granny stitch playlist. So for our granny spike stitch today, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making a foundation chain. This pattern is worked in rows and our foundation chain is going to have a multiple of four stitches. So we'll start by making your slip knot and today for this tutorial I'm going to be chaining a total of 20. Fifteen and 20. So once you have your chain the desired length you're going to start with row one and row one you're going to begin by working two double crochets in your fourth chain from hook. So count in from your hook one two three fourth chain from your hook you're going to work two double crochet stitches. In this pattern your chain three at the beginning will always count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in that fourth chain you're going to work three double crochet stitches. You are now going to repeat chain one, skip three, and work three double crochets in the next chain. Repeat that all the way across to the end of your uh, foundation chain. the end of row one you may continue to work all in a single color but if you choose to change your color at the end of your row one I'm going to show you how to do that now so I've worked in my final chain I've worked the first two of my three double crochet stitches and then I'm going to begin working my third so I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into that final chain yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and draw through two loops now because I want to change colors, I'm going to at this time drop my color A and I'm going to pick up my color B. I'm then going to place my color B on the hook and I'm going to pull through completing that double crochet stitch. So that is, um, now I'm all ready to work with my color B and that is going to help you change colors seamlessly throughout your work. At this time you may either cut off that color A and weave it in as you please 
Or if you're going to come back as I am in three rows and pick up that color A, you may leave it attached as long as you're going to have a border and uh, you have a way to hide uh, this loose end. Um, but you can just leave it attached and then pick it up as you go. And then that way you will have less ends to weave in at the end. So at the end of your row two, one, you're going to chain four in your color B and turn your work. Your chain four will count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. Next, you're going to skip those first three double crochet stitches. And in that next chain one space, you're going to work your three stitches with a slight variation. So in the next chain one space, you're going to work one double crochet stitch, followed by one spiked double crochet stitch. To work your spiked double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, and instead of working in that chain one space, you're going to go down to the center stitch of the three that you skipped and insert your hook into that center stitch. You're then going to yarn over and drop a loop and I like to pull that loop up to the height of my other stitch. You're then going to yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. And that is your spiked double crochet stitch. You then still have one more double crochet to work into that chain one space. So you're going to yarn over into that chain one space, work your third double crochet. And that's your set of three with the one spiked in the middle. Next, you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat. Skip the next three double crochet stitches into that chain one space. You're going to work one double crochet one spiked double crochet worked into the center stitch of the row down below, which is your foundation chain in this case. And one more double crochet stitch into your chain one space. Repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip three, double crochet, spiked, double crochet and double crochet. When you come to your final set of three in the row below, you're going to uh, chain one and then simply work one double crochet stitch into the top of that turning chain three. If you would like to change to your color B uh, or color C in the top of that double crochet stitch, you will change to your next color. And that's the end of row two. For row three, with your color C, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip that first double crochet that you just worked uh, out of. And you're going to work a spiked double crochet stitch in the first uh, in, the, in the first double crochet in the row down below. So in mine, it's in that gray row. We're going to work a spiked double crochet. So in that center stitch, insert my hook, draw my yarn up to the height of my other stitches and complete the stitch. I'm then going to work one more double crochet stitch into that chain one space. Next, you're going to chain one, skip three, and work your set of three stitches. 
your spiked stitch is always worked into the middle stitch of that row below. You're going to continue repeating that all the way across your work and I'm going to repeat it all the way across so that you can see how I pick up my color A once again. When you come to your final chain one space, which was your chain four, your double crochet and chain one, you continue in the same manner, work a double crochet followed by a spiked stitch And then your final double crochet is worked into the top of that turning, uh, sorry, the third chain of that turning chain. Just like so. Now, at this time, I wanna go back to my color A. So it's conveniently right down here and it's already attached to my work. I'm just going to bring it up gently. I'm not going to pull it too tight because I don't want it to pull my fabric together, but uh, I just place it on my hook and pull it through chain three or four in this case and uh, turn my work. So now all you're going to do is you're going to repeat those last two rows. So again, I chain four, turn my work. So now my first uh, set of three including my spike stitch, is going to be in that next chain one space. You're just going to continue repeating that two row pattern for as long as you would like your project to be. And uh, that is all there is to working the granny spiked stitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial. And once again, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have fun, and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.